Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here once again with your official CWO premiere content. Uh, today we are doing week three projections, taking a look at all the week three matchups, talking about who, at least in my opinion, is going to come out on top, have a lot of interesting matchups, and I wanted to do, you know, at least one other regular CWO series beyond the uh, the recaps because I know you guys love the CWL coverage. So let me know if you if you want me to do any other types of CWL type videos and any changes you have uh, you want to see to this uh, projections video. But I'm just going to be going through them. They're going to be coming through at the bottom here. We'll talk about each one and starting with the Invictus Prime versus Dark Avengers. And even though Dark Avengers is one and one, I think they have a really good shot at winning this war. In terms of stars, four, that's the total stars they've won in the last two weeks. They are just one star behind Invictus Prime. And last uh, week, they blew out Terps win big 87-80. I think they're going to be an up-and-coming clan. So look out for them. Invictus Prime, a strong start being 2-0. and I'm going to give it to a uh, Dark Avengers, though. I think they're going to pull off what you could consider an upset this week. We'll have to see how that one shapes up. Should be exciting. Our next matchup here, FYSB versus Art of War. FYSB 2-0, and o, um, getting 84 stars both weeks. They're looking strong. Art of War, not, you know, 0-2 doesn't do them justice. They've had some good wars. Still have to give it to FYSB, though. I think they're going to come out on top. Next, we have Sons of Anarchy versus Dark Looters X. It seems like it's hard to bet against a Dark Looters clan these days, despite the loss of the uh, defending champions in the Invite League recently. Uh, but regardless, got to give it to Dark Looters X. Um, they've scored great stars this season. 171 total. Divide that by two. That'll get you each week pretty much. Awesome stuff, and I think they're going to come out on top. Fortas LTU against D. Salbazitz. Um, I gotta give it to Fortas despite the 0-2 record. Last week they had a solid performance, 80 stars, whereas DS only put up 78. I think uh, Fortas is looking to bounce back. I think they'll get the victory here despite the, uh, the lower record there. Uh, we have We Are Spartans versus uh, Lydich, uh t Tug. <laughs> Never gonna get that right, I'm sorry guys. Um, the tugboat, let's call him that. I think the tugboat's going to pull out the win here once again with what you can consider an upset. We Are Spartans hasn't really blown any clan out. Last week, I believe both uh, clans scored 82 stars, so not a huge differential. Actually, no differential last week. I think the tugboat's going to come out on top, especially uh, considering they're in that one in one spot, which is a good place to look to, uh, to expand up from and get some victories to add on to. In the next war, Forged from Steel versus Three Point Park, I am going to give the nod to Forged from Steel for the victory this weekend. Uh, both clans very high scoring. Don't uh, underestimate Three Point Park against almost any, uh, any other clan. I'd, I'd pr uh, predict them for the victory. Both have uh, had you know mid 80s in terms of stars, but I got to give it to the 2 and 0 clan, uh, which is Steel. This next war is a bit difficult for me to commentate on because I am going to be in it. I'm in One Hive Genesis, of course, and you know what? It's hard to say which clan's going to win. Uh, both have just been solid. Neither clan dominating, but neither clan, uh, you know, being beaten up on. I'm going to give it to Marshall's Nation, I guess, just with a 2-0 record, but One Hive Genesis is going to give an awesome fight this weekend, and uh, I'm gunning for us to get the victory. Uh, but just the most objective I can be, I am going to give it to Marshall's Nation based on the 2-0 record they have thus far. In the war between Chosen Elite and Terps win big, both 0-2 clans, I'm going to give it to uh, Chosen Elite. Both clans pretty low scoring the last two weeks, but Chosen Elite did put up 82, Terps only 80 in uh, week two. That was the last week, so I think they might have the slight edge going into it. For this next one here, it's hard to bet against Jay Off. They've been so dominating. Uh, most stars uh, in the entire league thus far, in terms of stars for, they've been crushing it. Uh, Rogue XI doing good as well. Had a tough uh, one-star margin loss last week, and I think they're a solid clan. We just faced them in Genesis. They did a great war, but got to give it to Jay uh, just based on how well they've done so far. With King Jeffrey versus Pigeonism, I'm going to go with uh, King Jeffrey here, actually. They've had some tough matchups, had Grumpy Old Man and Jay Off, two of the strongest clans in the Premier League. Uh, Pigeonism, nothing against them. They've had some solid wars, 
but I think Jeffrey's looking to bounce back and get their first win this week. In the war of Hindustan versus Valor Doheris, uh, whatever that Game of Thrones clan is, got to give it to Hindustan. Uh, the the hard to pronounce name is finally catching up to VD, and I think it's going to be a three and zero for one clan and an zero and three for the other clan. But who knows what could happen, especially with the power of GOT behind them. We'll have to see about that one. This next war is very difficult to predict. Finland war against the X Knights. Um, both clans very middle to upper middle of the tier, and they both have had solid wars. I gotta give it to the X Knights just based on last week. They scored a little bit higher, 84 to uh, Finland Wars 82. So I am going to give the nod to the Knights in this one, but I think it will be very close for sure. Quantum 3 versus Quixotic Squad. I'd say it's gotta be clearly Quantum 3. Have had two great wars, both 85 stars. When you put up 85 stars, that'll get you the win three out of four times. Uh, Quixotic Squad, their victory. I believe coming off percentage in the first week, so not uh, too strong of performances from them. I think the Quantum 3 is going to get the victory here. Crystal Warrior versus WHF2. I'm going to go with the upset here with CW. I think they've uh, done pretty solid last two weeks, just had some tough wars, very close, and had some good uh, performances. So I'm going to give it to Crystal Warrior, uh, WHF2, good clan, but not going to get the victory this weekend, I'm thinking. Grumpy Old Men versus Dragon Rejects. Um, I believe Dragon Rejects came out very hot in the first week. They only got 80 stars though last week. Grumpy Old Men, on the other hand, has been consistent. 84 stars both weeks, which is a solid uh, score. And I think they're going to continue their undefeated record at 3-0 and drop the rejects down to 1-2. Pinoy uh, Bandidos, they are 1-1 one one against none other than our last clan here, Emphatic Fury. This one was tough to predict for sure. Uh, it's difficult to say which clan is going to have the upper hand here. Uh, Bandidos 1-1, one one, Fury 0-2. Oh I'm going to give it to Fury. I think they've been close. Uh, week 2, they were 83-86. Uh, to 86. They went against Jay Off, which is a very difficult clan as we've seen. I think they're on an upward trajectory, and they are going to pull off the victory against the Banditos. All right, so that will do it for this week's uh, upcoming wars. I'm really excited to see them. Hope you guys are too. I guess we'll see how many of my predictions come right. I'm hoping to get, you know, 10 out of 16 maybe. That would be a good number to get. Um, we'll go ahead and see how that works out. Let me know what you think of this format. I will show the matchups at the very end after this, this attack is done. I'm thinking I also might... Um, have some kind of offer for the viewers you guys can predict maybe in some kind of format get prizes if you get a certain number right so let me know what you think about that kind of uh, more interactive stuff for you guys and if you want i might spend some more time next week really breaking down these matchups this was kind of a pilot episode just to go through the format um, but i might go more in depth with some of these matchups especially as we get more information about all the awesome clans that are in this speaking of those clans here they are all 32 these are the week three matchups just to summarize for you guys. You saw them at the bottom, but here they are all on one screen. Should be some great wars. Um, we'll have to see how these shape up. I will be uh, working hard in Genesis this weekend to get us the victory. Um, hopefully we can uh, we can go up to two and one, but we'll have to see about that. Anyway, though, thank you guys for watching. I hope you, enjo you are enjoying the CWL premiere coverage. And as always, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Oh, by the way, be sure to check out the other CWL YouTubers. If you go to the main CWL Invite channel, that's the one Powerbang runs. He has all the YouTubers and all their playlists uh, on the homepage there. So you can watch uh, the other three leagues if you're interested. But be sure to stick around for the next CWL premiere video as it comes out. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, Sectatron out.